Welcome in. It's the Recruiting Roundup powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. A ton of 2017 offers to get to. That's been the theme over the last few weeks. And let's jump in with two players receiving their first offers. What a big day that Drew Dixon down at Sabino High School had. He got his first three offers all the same day. He got Arizona, then Hawaii, then San Jose State. This is a big kid, six foot four, 195 pounds. Uh, an athlete being recruited as an athlete. He's played wide receiver as a sophomore, played quarterback back last year for Sabino High School. I project him as a wide receiver at the next level. Absolutely love him. And another wide receiver that got his first two offers, Chance Brewington at Hamilton High School. Steve Bellis, their head coach, is a big fan about him. Been raving about him to me for months. He got offered by UNLV, then by Idaho. We see with both of these guys that got their first offer, that domino effect happens. They get one, they get two, and they get three. Very good stuff. How about a couple guys that have really been heating up? We've mentioned them a lot over the last couple weeks. Uh, last week, Odwa Isabor got his first offer like the other two we just mentioned, and that domino effect has happened with him as well. Yeah, he turns around. You know, he got offered by Arizona, defensive end out of St. Mary's High School, six foot six, two hundred and fifteen pounds, was offered by U of A, then USC, another big time Pac-12 offer, and Hawaii followed up with another offer on him. And then a guy that's been blowing up as of late, Chase Cord, big time quarterback out of Sunrise Mountain, added his sixth scholarship offer from Boise State. And then to finish up, Jalen uh, Jalen Harris, the wide receiver slash defensive end at Desert Ridge High School got his second offer. He holds run from the University of Arizona. He added an offer from Colorado State. A lot of Division I prospects at Saguaro this time of year. We always hear offers coming out of players from that program. Three players added offers in the last week. Yeah, so Kyle Soley, he's an outside linebacker, tight end uh, type player. Uh, he was he added two more. He, he was offered originally by Hawaii, then he offered two more got two more Mountain West offers from uh, San Jose State and from Nevada. Yeah, a little tidbit on that, talking and Jason Mons, he said that the San Jose State staff was fighting the position coaches. Some wanted him as an outside linebacker, some wanted him as a tight end, just offered him as an athlete. Then Jared Poploski, the big tight end that we've been talking about for months, added another offer from Nevada. And then Corey Stevens, their big-time offensive tackle, added an Ivy League offer from Columbia. And speaking of offensive linemen like Corey Stevens, two more, one of them receiving a first offer. We wanted to throw him in in the O-line category, not just the, uh, the first offer category, but Creston Coolidge on the Ivy League radar. Yeah, uh, kid out of Valley Vista, way out in surprise, 6'5", 285 pounds, got his first scholarship offer from Columbia. I've said it for a long time for many many years when you're a big kid and you have great grades like Creston does you're going to get recruited and another very big kid is Jonathan Nathaniel over at Basha he got his first power five offer coming from Pac-12 program Washington State a guy that we've been a big fan of six foot five 255 pound tackle I expect him to get more power five offers and finally the last school we want to mention Jason Louisville man they have recruited Arizona so hard now this is now the third year running where they have really been active in Arizona and they went off when after two of the best athletes in the state. Yeah, Bryce Gilbert, the tight end out of Higley High School, is kind of blown up. He had the offer from Louisville, and Tyler Johnson, uh, arguably one of the top prospects in the entire state, uh, was offered by them as well. So you're talking where Johnson's in the double-digit offers, and Bryce Gil Bil Gilbert is very close to reaching that as well. It's been a busy winter. Spring evaluation period is not far away. That's where even more offers will start to, to come about, and we'll have all those as they come. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity.